Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys that new way I was telling you about to apply the Apre or the Gel 1, 2, 3, Go Nails or the dupes. This is not an easier way. I know some of you may have thought it was going to be an easier way. This is not an easier way. It is a faster way to do it. And if you go check out the Apre official website on YouTube, they actually have a video on how to do it. And that's where I got the idea, of course. So we are using everything by the Apre brand. We are using their stiletto nails. Um, these are just the regular. They're not the sculpted. We are using their dehydrate, their primer, and their extend gel. So the first thing you want to do, of course, you're going to push back your cuticles. You're going to then take an e-file. And I'm going to use my Melody Susie. Love this e-file. Love it. Love it. It's a portable e-file. I have a 240 grit sanding band on the end. And what you're going to do is you're going to lightly buff the shine. You're going to lightly buff the shine off of that nail, which I've already done, but I'm going to just show you step by step. You just lightly buff the shine off of that nail. Okay. Just lightly buff it. Just like so. Make sure you get the entire nail plate, right? I just, I'm just doing this fast, quick, and in a hurry so you guys can get the idea of what you got to do. In all reality, you, if you don't have an e-file, you can use a buffing block. And that's what I actually did, is just you can go over it and buff it like that. And that will be perfectly fine. You don't have to do anything else. Just go ahead and dust off the rest of any remaining, any remaining dust. Then you're going to take your pH bonder dehydrator. And this is going to ensure that any of those oils are off of that nail plate. So you're going to rub that on the entire nail. Next step, guys, you're going to take your acid-free primer. And this is going to give it better adhesion along with the buffing. And that goes from cuticle to free edge. Try not to touch the skin. Now I am wearing the 123 Go nails right now. They're like the Appraise. And these have been on a week and I haven't had any problems. One week, guys. They do not bend. Let me show you. That's my nail bending. That's my finger bending. They are not, they are not bending. I'm pushing with all my, <laughs> I just want to show you guys, they're not bending, okay? I've never had an issue with the bending, ever. I, I know some people have, and I don't know if it's just a bad batch or what. But honestly, I've never had a problem with any of mine breaking or bending at all. So I just wanted to make that clear. I had a lot of questions about that. Did yours bend? Okay. So again, here are the Apre. And let me just show you. They are thin. They are super thin down by the cuticle, okay? And then they're really thick up by the tip. But yet they're still kind of flimsy because it's a gel nail so they are a little bit you know but they're not bending at all these aren't bending these are the appraise these are not bending you know what we'll do a comparison video in the next one okay the next step you're gonna apply the, your extend gel your poly gel your base gel your builder gel whatever gel you want to use we're using the extend gel by the Apre brand so this is going to act as the base and the adhesion for the tips so I'm going to put a thin coat of this on 
the actual nail plate. Now he does say in his video, if you add a little bit more into the center area, about right here, it will help with heat spikes. So just so you're aware of that. Now I have not tried it this way on my actual nails yet, but I will be when I take the ones I have on off. I just want to see, I want to show all of my newer subscribers how long my 1-2-3 go nails last. And that they can last for you also. I know there are other people out there, of course, that are having many issues with it. It takes practice. It takes time. Um, I know also that there are some people where these nails just will not stick to their nail plate. Um, maybe you have more oils in your skin and your body. You know, I know a lot of people have issues like that where acrylic won't even stick. So, um, now that we have the base laid, I'm going to go ahead and do a 30 second cure. Okay, so this part here where we're going to prep our tips, this is where it gets, this is where the turn this is this is another way that you guys can do it without having to use your e-file without, without having to get the dust all over the place so what you're going to do is take pure 100% acetone and a brush what he said to do was get your tip and instead of instead of buffing the surface shine where your natural nail plate will go you're going to dump you're going to put your brush into the um, acetone and then you're going to kind of like scrub that okay kind of make make sure you go up a little further with it that way it, you know it's gonna fit on your natural nail it's gonna go up all the way to that free edge so maybe about the center and what this is gonna do I can already start feeling it I can feel it breaking down that gel this is gonna give a better adhesion okay J see how it's doing see how can you see the difference See that? It's almost as if you've buffed it. How cool. Look at that. I hope you guys see the difference. Look how neat. So you can see right here, maybe I need a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to scrub that. It only takes a second. Just scrub it on. I'm going to go up a little higher with it. I got something in there. I don't know what that is. It's a piece of glitter or something. Okay. So you're going to do that with all nail, all the nails. You would take your Extend Gel. Of course, apply your Extend Gel. Get your light ready. all the way to the free edge and cure it okay there you go beautiful flawless nail okay so again you take your tip you dunk it into the acetone and then you're going to scrub okay I got a little more than I should you're gonna scrub it and if they're real gel tips you're gonna already you're gonna start feeling you're going to start feeling it break down. But what you're actually doing, you're just roughing up that surface for better adhesion. And you're going to actually be able to tell that it's roughed up. See that? And then again, take your Extend Gel. Okay, and then get your light ready at a 45 degree angle you're going to go down onto the nail
until it goes all the way to the free edge and then cure. We have our two nails complete. Again, take your acetone, get your brush wet, go ahead and scrub the nail. Go ahead and start just rubbing that acetone in there. Get a little more if you need to. Not too much, because then you'll break down the whole the whole nail tip. And you don't want to break the whole nail tip down. But you're going to start feeling it break down. And once you do, it should be about done. Okay, it's going to look like that. And then you're going to take your gel, whatever gel you're going to use. Okay, put it in there and then adhere it to your nail. So again, cuticle into the cuticle, pull it all the way up till you see it go to the free edge and cure. cuticle. We're going to press it all the way to the free edge right there and you're going to cure that. Okay now that that's complete go ahead and put it in the lamp. You're going to go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. Once that's done we're going to do a really cute fun design for Valentine's Day and we are going to actually use some new top coat that I received from Verano. They actually sent me two of these. Let me zoom out. Okay, they actually sent me two, so I am actually going to be putting one of these in an upcoming giveaway. This is, I believe it's $12.99. Let me look on my phone. Okay, so the Verano top coat, you get a matte, a pearl, and a glitter top coat. How gorgeous. $12.99 and you can save 5% when you apply your coupon at Amazon.com. Okay, I will leave a link down below where you can purchase this. But, yep. Not just top coat effects. Top coat in Revolution Matte Glitter Pearl. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So that's what it looks like. And like I said, we will be putting, I will be putting one of these in my giveaway stash for the next time I do a giveaway. Okay, so as you can see, we got our matte top coat, our pearl top coat, and our glitter top coat. 7.3 ml. And here are the beautiful top coats. We're going to do a white nail. I'm using Madam Glam's Perfect White. And then I'm going to take Madam Glam's Naughty Me. This is their pink holographic color. It's a very, very beautiful bright pink. And we're going to put that on the pinky. I like how pretty that is. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, I'm going to take Madame Glam's. This is one of their metallics, but I'm going to use it as a jelly. It's called Pink Pearls. And it's also a very bright pink. And I'm going to put that on the middle finger here.
And I think for the last color, we're going to use this mauve, burgundy mauve color. It's called Feast Your Nails, and I believe this was in their fall collection. That's a pretty color. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full cure on those. After you've got those fully cured, I'm gonna take the Brano matte top coat and we're gonna matte the white nail. I'm gonna see how good this matte top coat is. And cure, 60 seconds. Wow, look at that mat. Look what it did. That is a beautiful mat. Okay. So, with that one, we are gonna take Madame Glam's Velvet Red Ink and Madame Glam's Pink Ink. We're applying the red. And then the pink. Oh, look how pretty. I'm going to take the, um, the alcohol or the like alcohol. And we're just going to start moving the ink around. Playing with it. Add a little bit more red. And then when you're happy, we're going to go ahead and take the Burano matte top coat again and I'm gonna matte that out matte top coat and I'm just gonna go over the whole nail with the matte now that we have the matte top coat on the ink nail I'm gonna take the pearl top coat We're going to see what the pearl top coat looks like on the red nail. I guess it just gives it a nice pearlescent shine. I wonder if this is a no wipe pearlescent top coat. Okay, so it gives it a really nice pearl shine. Really pretty. All right, let's try the um, the glitter top coat. And dang, look how pretty that is. Okay, let's put the glitter one over the clear now. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful. Very pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And then you can even put it over the hollow, which it might take away from the hollow. No, it's not. Okay, that's nice. All right, so after you've got all of your top coats on, look how beautiful. 
I'm going to go ahead and do a full 60 second cure. Alright guys, and that is the finished look. I think it looks really cute with all three top coats. And then I just added a little bit of bling in the center here. And then one on the pinky. So there you go. Super quick, easy Valentine's Day nail. Let's turn it this way. And you can actually see that beautiful pearl top coat right there. And there are, they're all no wipes. So the glitter no wipe, the glitter is a no wipe top coat. The matte, of course, is. And then so is the pearl. I don't feel any tacky to any of them. So great. Great job, Verano. I absolutely love these top coats. They're beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my notification shout outs in here right now. So here we go. Thank you so much, ladies. You guys are amazing. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload and for your chance to be shouted out in one of my future videos. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.